This week, the best advertising in the world as we reflect on the 2014 Cannes Lions Festival of Creativity. We'll look at campaigns that made audiences laugh and cry. We'll show you advertising that set out to make a real difference to socio-economic problems. And two local experts will weigh in with their top campaign picks. A very warm welcome to Mags on Media. This year, advertising for good emerging as a big theme and software brand Intel's Project Daniel was a notable winner. Now, you'll remember Mick Ebeling travelling to Sudan with a 3D printer to make prosthetic limbs for landmine victims in the war-torn country. Since its launch, the project has earned more than half a billion online media hits and has proved it's possible for advertising to change people's lives. <laughs> Now, the Grand Prix for Good going to a shock campaign by the Dutch company Lems in collaboration with children's rights network Terre de Homme. It's called Sweetie. My name is Sweetie. I'm 10 years old. I live in the Philippines. Every day, I have to sit in front of the webcam and talk to men just like tens of thousands of other kids. The men ask me to take off my clothes. They undress. They play with themselves. They want me to play with myself. As soon as I go online, they come to me. 10, 100, every hour. So many. But what they don't know, I'm not real. I'm a computer model made piece by piece to track down these men who do this. Webcam child sex tourism is a new phenomenon that's spreading like an epidemic. Men from rich countries pay children in poor countries to perform sexual acts in front of webcams. These crimes happen tens of thousands of times each day. Terzom Netherlands is overwhelmed by child victims in the Philippines. So we approached them and offered our help. We started our own investigation, focusing on the demand side, and this is what we found. The UN and the FBI estimate that 750,000 pedophiles are online at any given moment. We estimate that tens of thousands of kids, some of them only six years old, are abused behind cams in the Philippines alone. But instead of hundreds of thousands of convictions, we could only find six men who have ever been charged. We found that webcam child sex tourism is a crime in almost every country, but laws are not enforced because child victims don't go to the police. Our solution, proactive policing. To stop predators, we need to patrol the websites where they commit these crimes and catch them in the act. To show the world how this can be done, we went undercover posing as a 10-year-old Filipino girl on public chat rooms. The moment that you log in and you identify yourself as a young girl from the Philippines, they swarm at you. Do you like to wear your bra? Hello. Hi, honey. Can we talk? Hey, are you I'm 36, okay? The predators feel safe and anonymous. They use fake names, live far away, and can pay with untraceable prepaid credit cards you can buy anywhere. All of the men wanted us to turn on our webcam, so to maintain our cover and to catch more predators, we brought Sweetie to life. Sweetie is a computer model we created to look and move like a real girl. We captured the movements of a real person and applied them to Sweetie. And then, we used an application to control her every move. I'm not real. Men think she's sitting in front of a webcam in the Philippines. But actually, we were operating her from a warehouse in the capital of the Netherlands, Amsterdam. While men chatted with Sweetie, we tracked them down. Using bits of information they gave us, we identified them with Google, Facebook, and other public sources. Without hacking their computers, we collected their names, addresses, phone numbers, pictures, and live video footage. In just 10 weeks, we identified 1,000 predators from 71 countries. If we can trace 1,000 men in 10 weeks, police forces can trace more than 100,000 a year. To raise global awareness and to pressure governments to act, 
We invited the world press to The Hague for one of the biggest child sex abuse cases in recent history. We showed our short film and handed over the dossiers of the 1,000 predators to Interpol. Instantly, Sweetie became world news. This is CNN News. Webcam sex tourism. Terre des Hommes heeft duizend mannen van over de hele wereld betrapt. The names of 46 Australians have been handed to international police. Investigators tracked down their addresses and photos and handed them over to Interpol. She is the weapon against online sex tourism. Para ver a menores en situaciones sexuales. Increíble, no? Tens of thousands. Duizend mannen worden ontmaskerd. For more details from Interpol. I'm of course very happy for Terre des Hommes that they have made this case. Terre des Hommes, zimla ludi. Virtual. Ian Brahma, Swiri. Terre des Hommes, internet. A sweet team is set up for 10 men. Two of them are Brazilian. For the Federacia in the whole world. Juan Lien Tongi. This was an initiative of Holland. It's me, sweet team. Basta. For camera. I'm not real. I'm not real. The results. One billion people have seen the Sweetie campaign. Webcam child sex tourism is now a globally recognized problem. And the Philippines National Police now consider it the country's number one crime. But what we're most proud of, predators are being stopped and children are being saved. Now this particular campaign raking in an additional 12 golden lions, but most importantly, garnered unmeasurable support towards the fight against sexual predators online. Now thousands of entries stream into the can lions and this year over 37,000 were received. A man who had a front row seat during the judging process in the competitive film category was the low agency in Cape Town's executive creative director, Kirk Gainsford. Kirk, a very warm welcome to you. First of all, before we talk about some of the ads themselves, I want you to take us into the judging room itself. Tell us what really goes on. For us to put it into perspective, um, there may be 37,000 entries. Um, there are over 3,000 entries in film, um, television and online, which, which makes it a, a very, very big task for a jury of 21 people. I think a lot of the jury and hard works has got to do with the jury president, and I think Amir Kasai was, was extraordinary. The process has changed recently. 30% of the judging is done before we even get to Cannes online. And of that work, 60% of it disappears before we even get to can. It's a very ruthless process and, and very easy for good pieces of work to fall between the cracks. Principally, when you're sitting and you're plowing through all of this work, what mm. specifically are you looking for? Firstly, a, a piece of work has to grab you. And if it doesn't grab you, after you, you can imagine watching online three days of commercials. And it really is about three days of commercials. And you're going to like it or not like it, and you're going to get rid of it if you don't like it. If it's going to bore you, you're going to, you have to watch the whole commercial. They don't let you skip it. So you, you, you don't get to a point where you can fast forward it. Mm. And it's very much the same as in real life. You know, you either switch off or you, you enjoy it. Let's look at some of the work now that grabbed you as a judge. Sound of Honda. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about this particular campaign, this particular piece of work. Why? Well, most importantly, we, everyone's talking about how digital is getting involved in our lives and how, how digital our lives have become. But this piece of work is a, an extremely smart digital piece of work. It, it was online. And what it effectively did is it brought humanity to the fore instead of making digital come to the fore. It, what they did is they took one sheet of paper of Ayrton Senna's fastest lap around a track and they digitized it and they reconstructed it into a hauntingly spiritual piece of work where you actually almost experienced Ayrton Senna driving around the track the way you would have seen it on the day and the fastest lap that he ever did. Something perhaps uh, a, a, little, a little lighter, but uh, creating a lot of enjoyment uh, for customers was uh, the big department store in, in the United Kingdom, Mojave Nichols. It's a fabulous campaign. It's for a retail store. It's something that I, I think that is worthy of a Grand Prix because it is a, is a commercial that any, anybody in any market can make, and it's really delightful. It's just cheeky. Elastic bangs. Elastic bangs from Harvey Nichols, Dad. Paper clips. Yeah. It's toothpicks. A little something for them, a bigger something for you. And of course, uh, Chuck Norris was always going to be uh, a feature at Cannes this year, wasn't he? Well, well, Chuck Norris was the parody of it, but it was uh, the Volvo, yeah. the Volvo trucks. I think everyone knew 
that Volvo would do well before we went into the to the uh, uh, judging room, and and it did do well. And it, it, you know, every time you watch it, it puts a smile in your face. Interestingly, it's actually part of a, a, a very big campaign, and it's a product demo. And um, I think the rest of them really paled in comparison. There were there was a CEO standing on top of a truck, and it was just really almost boring. <laughs> I've seen them all. And then this one was actually delightful. And finally, Kirk, year in and year out, uh, Nike is always on top of the ad league, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Nike seems to continuously do amazing work. And the piece of work that uh, there was a strong contender for uh, Grand Prix was this possibilities. And I think that it is probably, for me, the most beautiful Nike piece that's ever been made. And it really does, it fits the brand perfectly. And there's just a scene in it that says that if you like to fight don't bully this somebody, fight someone your own size and it's just do it. It really is beautiful. I, I could watch it over and over again. A little classic maybe in, its, in, its, uh, in the way it's been made, but it's very beautiful. Kirk Gainsford from the Low Agency in Cape Town, thank you very much indeed. We'll have more winning work from the Can Lions when Mags on Media continues. <laughs> moves enca.com